The most extreme sports in the world all require a very specific footwear. But unlucky for me, I forgot my shoes. But I personally believe you don't need shoes to do these extreme sports. So to prove this, I'm going to be trying five of the most extreme sports barefoot. And if I fail more sports than I succeed, I will burn every single pair of shoes I own. So the first sport I'll be trying is track. Track athletes are known for using shoes to protect their feet from the hot track and keep their feet stable while running. But sadly for me, I won't have shoes. Now every sport that I will be attempting barefoot in this video will be done and supervised by a trained professional. So YouTube, I'm safe. Bro, this is burning hot. So in order to complete track, I will have to successfully complete three skills. 100 meter dash, hurdles, and the long jump. But if for some reason the skill is too painful on my feet and I fail any of the three skills, I will fail the whole sport. First thing we're gonna try is a 100 meter dash. Good luck. I'll be down there. Oh my God, this is hot. Ready, Drew? Dude, this is so hot on my feet. Three, two, one, go. Making good time. And now I may have successfully completed the first skill, but it was honestly way more painful than I expected. Ow! How did that feel? Ow! That hurt so bad. And even though I still have two more skills remaining for track and four more extreme sports that I have to complete later in the day, my feet were already starting to get destroyed. Look at my feet right now. Oh my God. Dude, they hurt so bad. But if I was gonna save all of my shoes from exploding, I had to push on to the next skill. Up next, we got hurdles. I have four of them here. My feet are already killing me and this tarp has to be like 100 degrees. Let's do this. My feet. It feels like I'm running on sandpaper. And with two successful track skills complete, it was time to move on to the final skill where I can hopefully prove that this sport does not need shoes. Normally if I was wearing shoes, the worst part of this is getting sand in your shoes. But since I'm not wearing any, this is the part I'm looking forward to the most. Dude, it hurts so bad already. Ah. Here we go. Feels so nice with my feet in the sand. It's like cold sand under here. Oh, all right, well, that's where I landed. Let's see how you do with shoes. I think I got the same exact spot as you. Dude, you did. You know what sucks? What? All the sand in your shoes. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> no way. And even though I successfully completed the first sport, I ran into a very big problem that would make all of these next sports much harder to do. Dude, look at this. I don't even know if you can see this. I have a blister forming on that toe right there. But I wasn't going to quit and destroy all my shoes that easily. And since the next sport might literally destroy my feet, I decided to pick up some tape and band-aids to help fix my Bro. feet. Done one event. And after buying everything that I needed, I taped up my toe that literally felt like it was going to fall off, and it was time to move on to the next extreme sport. How about I don't shred my feet? Ow, the ground's hot. Skateboarders are known for literally destroying their shoes from the grip tape on their skateboard. So this is going to be extremely hard on my feet because for me to successfully pass this sport, I will have to complete three things. Riding around, dropping in, and the most dangerous thing for my feet, a jump. All right, the first thing I'm gonna try to do is just ride around and get used to just riding without your shoes on. Oh my God. Now I've skateboarded for years, but never in my life skateboarded barefoot. So I never actually knew what grip tape felt like on my feet. And if I'm being honest with you, it felt like I was riding around on sandpaper. Yo, dude, that feels crazy on my feet. All right, now that I've ridden around, it's time for the next thing. And that's dropping in. This is terrifying. You think it's a good idea to drop in without shoes? Yeah. <laughs> Would you ever do it? Hell no. <laughs> Don't grind your toes on the concrete. Oh my God. Holy cow, I'm like freaking out. Ow! All right, that wasn't as bad as I thought, actually. And with two out of the three skateboard skills complete, it was time to move on to the hardest skill. I'm gonna try to do an ollie, which I'm not looking forward to because this really involves your feet. Essentially, I have to pop the board, drag my foot up the grip tape to get the board to go into the air and then land. This is so stupid. Ow! <laughs> that hurts so bad. Yeah. Ow! My phone. 
Oh, it's good. I literally thought my phone just cracked. And with one last attempt, I had to give it my all. Because if I fail this, I will fail the whole sport. And with my feet hurting more than ever, I needed this point. Oh, that was it. Oh, dude, that hurts so bad on my feet. Look at my foot. I'm gonna have to call that, dude. That hurts way too bad trying to ollie up that. It literally feels like sandpaper. Now, although I failed skateboarding and my feet hurt pretty bad, at least I left skateboarding with a positive experience. Good to meet you, Alex. Anytime you guys ever see me in public, come and say hi. Even if it's me embarrassing myself trying to skateboard with no shoes on. I love getting to meet you guys. Now, if I fail two more sports, I will literally have to destroy every single pair of shoes I own. And not only that, but the sports from now on will get more and more physically demanding on my feet. And with my feet being in a lot of pain, I needed to try a lot harder on this next sport, which is soccer. This should be pretty interesting. Soccer players wear cleats for stability, traction, and most importantly, protecting their feet. Bro, I'm so grateful to have shade right now. You have no idea. Now, the three things I need to complete soccer is juggling, scoring, and of course, a 1v1 game. I'm gonna try juggling first. Got a little bit of it. Now, we got kicking. Yo. Here we go. Dude, that is so painful. That sounds painful. Dude, my foot's like already getting red. Look at that. You wanna try being the goalie? Anything for you, love. I might need you to ice my feet after this. Yeah, maybe not that. All right, you ready? Never been more ready for anything. Ow! Dude, that never not hurt. And with two successful soccer skills completed, it's time for the true test of soccer. A 1v1 soccer game against my girlfriend, Britt. Best two out of three goals win. Um, how do we play with just one net? Let me explain. We will start in the middle of the field where Nick will randomly pass the ball towards us. Whoever gets the ball will get to attempt to score a goal. The first person to two points wins. All right, y'all ready? Yep. Ready? All right, here we go. I knew this was gonna be easy. I didn't know it was gonna be this easy. All right, round two, you ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh. One to one. Next point, win. And just like that, soccer was a success. Bro, my feet are killing me. Yeah, well, since you won, uh, Wait, where's that? Uh, I don't think it was really fair. So fair. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you had your phone. Fine. <laughs> I need to go ice my feet. Now, although I was successful in two sports, my feet were literally destroyed. So I decided to take off the rest of the night and ice my feet. This way I could prepare myself for tomorrow morning where I would be trying one of the hardest sports barefoot. And that is extreme tag. This is Corbin. He's a professional tag athlete. Hi. Would you ever do this barefoot? No, I don't think so. Professional tag athletes wear a very specific shoe to help them maneuver around objects quickly and keep their feet and ankles safe. But since I won't have any shoes, I'm at very high risk of rolling my ankle or damaging my feet. It looks like you've messed up your feet already. Yeah. Now, lucky for me, I will have two chances to complete this sport. First, Corbin will try to tag me, and second, I will try to tag Corbin. And if I successfully complete either of these, I will pass the sport of tag. So, you have 30 seconds to use all of this, and uh, I'm gonna tag you. Best of luck to my feet. All right, ready guys, in three, two, one, go. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Now, even though I got tagged, I still had one more chance to tag Corbin to successfully complete this sport. Three, two, one, go! No! Oh, my feet! And time! Oh, oh, dude. Dude, 
sadly, just like that, I failed my second sport. Now, even though I failed this sport, it would mean a lot if you would subscribe because it'll just make me feel better knowing that you subscribed. All right, where were we? Your feet must hurt so bad. They do. Never do this again, just bare feet, parkour, tag, anything. It's gonna suck. Funny enough to say that because the next thing I'm trying is parkour. <laughs> <laughs> In parkour, the most important thing is the shoe you wear. These shoes allow you to run up buildings, jump off walls, and most importantly, keep your feet safe. But with no more lifelines for my shoes, I have to succeed. Yeah, you're definitely going to feel that in your feet. Great. This is Lorena. She's a professional parkour athlete. And right away, she told me something that I really wasn't expecting. Why are you barefoot? Well, in parkour, we actually train barefoot all the time to improve our technique and to make our feet stronger. But we only train small things. You are gonna be doing big things. Great. So in order for me to successfully pass parkour, I have to complete three skills. Precision, descending, and jumping over obstacles. The first thing we're gonna do is really gonna involve your feet because we're doing precisions. Wow, graceful. <laughs> Thank you. Well, probably the worst time to have blisters on my feet. <laughs> Oh, shoot, I got right there. Yes, push those knees out. Yeah. Oh, nice. And just when I thought my first skill was a success. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Oh, well, that was just the start. This is what you're really going to do. Whoa. Your turn. You're definitely going to feel it in your feet. I'm going to go for it. Nice. My toes hurt so bad. Now, we're gonna be learning how to descend. Do it. First thing we're gonna do is just take a drop to roll. Drop to roll? Sounds like sushi. All you're gonna do is lean your chest further forward than you would in a precision, land on the balls of your feet, and do a shoulder roll out. Oh, great, that looked easy. <laughs> you're gonna be going from up there. How likely is it that I break my ankles? No, no. Oh, I fell forward. <laughs> ah. no. That was really good. You didn't break your ankles. Oh my god, that was awesome. And just when I thought my second skill was a success, now we're gonna take it to cement. What? So you're gonna start here, safety this rail, come down here, drop onto the concrete, safety, turn. Drop down and run away. Bro, she's crazy. <laughs> Why do you laugh like that? I'm having so much fun. Now this looked crazy painful, but I was just two skills away from keeping my shoes safe. So I had to give it everything I had. Oh, dude, I'm gonna need foot surgery. And just like that, descending was a success. And after every skill that I put my feet through for the last 48 hours, I was just one skill away from keeping my shoes from burning and proving that you don't need shoes to do these extreme sports. The last skill we're gonna do barefoot is jumping over an obstacle. What obstacle? A Tesla Cybertruck. And the best part is, if you mess it up, you only have to pay many, many thousands of dollars and you'll probably get cut from its sharp edges. Now, throughout this video, I have been using the Oppo phone. And as you guys can tell, this phone is extremely durable. It is water and splash resistant and also drop and scratch resistant. So I wanna see what's more durable, my phone or my feet. So I'm gonna be putting this phone under the tire. And once I jump over the Tesla, Nick, you're gonna run over the phone. I get to run over a phone in a cyber truck? Yeah, pretty much. That's the greatest job ever. <laughs> this is insane. Do you have any faith in me at all? Yeah. That didn't sound like, that sounded sarcastic. Yeah. That was even more sarcastic. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, I'm so nervous. Yo, he's crazy for doing this. Did it survive? <gasps> Yo, it's fine. No. Look at that. Wait. Look at that. It oh survived. Make sure you check out Oppo's newest phone, the Reno 12 Pro. The link will be in the top of my description. Well, this was definitely the hardest extreme sports challenge I've ever done, but I'm honestly surprised that I completed it.
If you guys enjoyed this video, watch another right here. Wash my feet. Ow.